this is Europe Remembers on Tour in the city of Krakow. And today we join a guided tour in the city. And we will visit the Schindlerslist factory. But first we will visit the Krakow Home Army Museum. My name is uh, Matthew, Matthew Gavlik. I'm a historian here in uh, Home Army Museum in Krakow. Uh, our museum is a museum about stories, about people, about heroes who are uh, fighting in the Second World War and Home Army and Polish resistance. We tell a story about a Polish underground state in the Second World War. We have a few thousand exhibits here in our exhibition. Uh, for example, we have a reconstruction on V2 missile, a uh, rough plane. Uh, for example, uh, we have uh, hundreds of uh, weapons here uh, from uh, United Kingdom, from Soviet Union, from Germany. Uh, we have a, a lot of photographs uh, and documents. For example, we have uh, reports of Witold Pilecki who create a resistance in uh, Auschwitz-Birkenau uh, camp. Behind me is a V2 reconstruction. You can see how big is this object and also you can see uh, what inside of uh, V2. For example, uh, engine. Behind me uh, we see uh, objects which belongs to Major Stanislaw Kolasinski, uh, who was a paratrooper, home army paratrooper. We call them uh, silent and unseen. We see here uh, his guns, uh, uniforms and parachutes. We are standing right now on the main square of Krakow. And Krakow used to be the capital of the occupied part of Poland during the Second World War by the Nazis. We are standing here because of this statue behind me. It belongs to Adam Mickiewicz who used to be a famous writer in the 19th century, but the statue was removed during the occupation. And instead of the statue, there was a sign that said Adolf Hitlerplatz. During the occupation, the local people refused to come close to the sign which said Adolf Hitlerplatz. And actually, you can see it right now, there's a circle of pillars. And that circle is actually symbolically put there because within that circle, people ref refused to walk. This is Sheroka, translated to English as Broadway, and this was the focal point of the Jewish community before the war, but also during the war, before the ghetto was installed. People, Jewish people, were selected here to either go immediately to the camps or to the Jewish ghetto for hard labor. Some of the people that were selected were put up against the wall and they were shot, which is why you see the bullet holes in this building. So like the Jewish people that were selected out for the ghetto, we are moving now towards the ghetto and halfway we will pass the oldest synagogue in Poland. We are entering Platz Bohaterów Getta, the Ghetto Hero Square, the central point of the Jewish ghetto in Krakow during the Second World War. The most significant buildings here is this building right here, that's the Gestapo headquarters. You can actually see the years that the ghetto, the ghetto was active on top of the roof. You see 70 chairs representing 70,000 Jewish people that were either massacred here or deported to the camps from here and massacred in those camps, murdered. Buildings number four and five are the only original buildings that are still standing here. The ghetto was liquidated in March 43. Everything was demolished apart from those buildings. This square, very important, is also the square from where people used to be deported. And normally it was 800 to 1200 people on average and they would gather here on the square they were left alone 48 hours without food drink sanitation and then after those 48 hours selection would take place generally people younger than 15 and older than 45 years old were selected out the other ones were declared arbeitsfähig or good to work and they were sent to the camps those people that were selected out, that were either too young or too old, they were taken into this alley and that's the place where they would be shot. Which is why there is a chair, a special chair, in recognition of those people who were executed over there. We ended our city tour at the Ghetto Square in Krakow. 
and now we're going to visit the Schindler's Factory. This factory was made famous by the movie Schindler's List, and I'm looking forward to see the desk of Schindler. This is also the end of our video. See you next time.